Hey guys, my name is Nicole Larosa. Welcome to Nick's Motivation, the channel aimed to support drug addicts and recovering drug addicts. Here we will be sharing stories and we will also be sharing tips and advice how to live a life of sobriety. Now, as an addict myself, I started using at the age of 11. I was old for 11 years. And um, yeah, I'm 19 years clean. Trust me, 19 years is a long time. It wasn't easy to to come this far, but I'm, 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 I think I'm, I'm the happiest person alive. I was introduced by drugs to a guy, by a guy 25 years older than me. And uh, we were on our way to school, me and a friend of mine. And we were excited, not even thinking of anything but just the excitement of going to high school and we bumped into this guy and he was busy smoking weed and he offered it to us and we were like no oh, you crazy we, we just leave us alone we're on our way to school and he just didn't want to hear anything he was persistent he just said you know guys you have to try this this is this is just the thing right now to experience and all that thing you know, um, he pulled out a, a, a phrase that says, how will you ever know if you're not going to try it? You're going to go to house parties, you're going to go to, to, to clubs, you're even going to find it in your school. You have to try it. You will see how people enjoy tripping and, and falling and enjoying the, the drug. And you, you, it will always leave a question mark in your head. How will you ever know if you're not going to try it? So this guy was so persistent, we ended up just trying it and we tried it and it doesn't do anything to us. But after a couple of few minutes, we had a hell of an experience on our way to school. We, the guy wasn't even with us anymore. We just um, passed a lady that was pregnant and she wasn't carrying small, she carried very big, very, very big. It looked funny to us and this thing just triggered a laugh in us that, that, that we didn't even know that what was happening. We were rolling on the grass, though we were laughing and, and you know, we had a, an experience of a lifetime. Anyway, Finnish laughed and we went into the school, we did the registration and on our way back from school, we bumped into this guy and, you know, I want to leave it there and I want to I wanna hear from you guys after the laugh and the experience that we had and here we, 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 we actually bumped into the same guy that offered us and the drug what happens now what is the next step the next video will be part two about what drugs has, has done to my life it's going to be a documentary and um, yeah please like this video subscribe and share your comments below click on the bell so that you can get notifications on 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 the next video guys you are maybe sitting there and you, under the sound of my voice and you are begging to, to, to with your addiction you are begging to come out of, of drugs and um, you may be sitting in the rehab center a couple of weeks clean and you know uh, uh, you are in the same situation you can relate i want to tell you that you know, what helped me, what encouraged me every single day was that the energy that I used to, to, to get my next fix, you know, the energy I used to smoke when, because when we're there, we give our all, you know, we give our all. And, 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 and when I came out of drugs, I said to myself, I'm going to use the same energy to get out of drugs. And that is actually what, what, what helped me. Until next time, remember that you can do it. If I could have done it, you can do it. God bless you.